So I don't know if you guys know this, but you can die in Project Zomboid. Yes, yes, I know, this is very shocking news. I was absolutely flabbergasted when I heard about this. But it turns out that when you load into the game, it actually does confirm that you can possibly die. So I looked further into it, and there's actually multiple ways that you can die. So that's what this video is about. But first, I do want to give some credit to this video here, because if I didn't watch this video and read some of the comments, I would have probably missed a few of the ways you can die. So yeah, I just wanted to give this person credit. Alright, so starting off, the first and most popular way you can die in this game is by being eaten alive by zombies. I'm going to assume that the vast majority of people who die in this game die from this. Whether it be due to you trying to fight more zombies than you can, or running out of energy so your character can't run, or even just not paying attention to your surroundings. Whatever it may be, I'm almost certain that this is how most people's first death in Project Zomboid happens. So the second way you can die is going to be from a zombie bite. Now this may seem like the same as the first one, but the first one is actually being eaten alive by zombies. The second one is being bitten maybe once or twice, but you are able to get away so you can survive a few more days until you succumb to the zombie infection. This usually happens when one lone zombie sneaks up behind you and takes a nice chunk out of your neck or arm before you're able to react. This is probably one of the more depressing ways to die because you're still alive, but you know you only have a few more days until you die from the illness the bite brings. Now the third way you can die is by taking too many sleeping pills. If you consume more than a whole box of sleeping pills, you'll start to take damage and eventually die. And if you drink alcohol sleeping pills, that will reduce the amount of pills you need to take before receiving damage, so make sure you let those pills wear off before you decide the party. And way to die number 4 is by poisoning yourself. Whether it be by drinking bleach or eating a poisonous barrier mushroom, you can poison yourself which will cause you to get sick and slowly lose health until you die. So a nice pro tip is to not eat random berries or mushrooms you find around, and definitely don't accidentally mistake your bottle of bleach for a water bottle. The fifth way to die is going to be a car crash. This is probably one of the more annoying ways to die, because you're just relaxing going 100 miles per hour in a 40, and then bam, a tree just appears right in your face, and a solid 3 weeks of grinding all has just disappeared in the blink of an eye. And then you decide that continuing to play Zomboid might not be the best for your mental health right now. So way to die number 6 is going to be burning to death. So I'm not sure if you guys know this, but if you stand in a fire, there's a good chance that you'll catch on fire. And this may be a shock, but fire and human bodies don't exactly work well together. So if you're ever just staring at a fire, and those little intrusive thoughts in your head are just like, hey man, wouldn't it be really cool if you just walked into that? Try your best not to listen to them, because 9 times out of 10, it won't end well for you. Moving on to death number 7, we have another pretty obvious one, falling to your death. So in pretty much every single video game ever, if you fall or jump from a high enough distance, you'll hit the ground and you'll be dead. So yeah, don't do that. So the 8th way to die is going to be by bleeding to death. If you get cut, bitten, scratched, or lacerated, you will bleed. And if you don't bandage the wound, you'll continue to bleed until you die from not having any blood left. So make sure you remember to bandage yourself when you get injured so you can keep all your body juice inside. So for the ninth way you can die, I'll be combining two different ways because they're both very similar. And these two ways are going to be dying from thirst or hunger. So this one is also pretty self-explanatory. If you don't eat food or drink liquids, you will eventually die. Your body needs sustenance, and even if you do what I do and eat a bag of chips and a soda and call it a day, that's still better than nothing. And then the tenth way you can die is going to be from a generator. I feel like a large amount of people don't actually know about this one, but if you put a generator inside a building and turn it on, it'll release toxic fumes into the building which can kill you over time. So make sure you're putting your generators outside. The 11th way you can die is going to be from illness from wounds or rotting corpses. Unlike the illness you get from being bitten, this one is actually preventable. If you kill a bunch of zombies in your house and just leave them there, you'll eventually get sick from the rotting corpses and the illness will kill you over a little bit of time. So even though it may be a little tedious to carry all those bodies outside, it'll definitely be worth it. And then if you get cut and ignore the wound or leave on a dirty bandage, there's a chance it'll get infected, and this infection could progress to the point where it could kill you, so make sure you're on the lookout for disinfectant when you're out looting. So my 12th way that you could die was actually going to be by freezing to death, but after testing it in game, you actually surprisingly don't die from hypothermia, it just gives you a ton of debuffs. I'm not actually sure if this will be changed in the future or not, but this was just something I wanted to let you guys know. And then finally, the last reason that you'll die in Project Zomboid, not subscribing to Spoodle. Yep, that's right, I can 100% guarantee that if you don't subscribe, you will eventually one day die in the game. It may not be today, it may not be tomorrow, but it will happen. So yeah, those are the different ways you can die in Project Zomboid. There's a good chance I missed some, so if I did, please let me know in the comments, and if you liked the video, you can let me know by hitting the like button, and I'll see you all in the next one.